Good morning, and welcome to what will be a 32 video series on Apest life stages. Apest coming from Ephesians 4.11, talking about the fivefold ministry of apostles, prophets, evangelists, shepherds, and teachers. And the spiritual life stage is discussed in the first chapter of First John, which correlate not to the physical life stages of child, young man or woman, and father or mother, but rather to the entirely different spiritual life stages of spiritual child, spiritual young man or woman, spiritual mother or father. Rather than inundate this introduction with all those definitions, each of those definitions will comprise a short video that defines those topics. I will, in addition, be adding two additional life stages, one being the pre-salvific, and the other one being one's legacy or spiritual echo, because a meaningful, fully realized life leaves a mark on everything it touches. Ephesians 4.11 says, And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints and the work of ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ that we should not no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of man and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting. But speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things unto him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. It is my belief that you cannot read this without a couple of unavoidable conclusions. One is the church, the body of Christ, needs to be a bunch of functioning organs and muscles and cells ministering for, to one another to accomplish the things it is here on earth to accomplish. Two, we have been given equipping gifts to us for the purpose of helping us grow to that state. Third, and perhaps most strategically important, is the idea that unless you believe that the church on earth has accomplished every one of these goals that God has placed for, for it, then we need all of these gifts to accomplish them. First John chapter 2, starting in verse 12. I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the little one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, 
and you have overcome the world. I'm going to talk about in subsequent videos in this series the things you can extrapolate about these three life stages of a spiritual life. Spiritually, the little child, not the same as a physical little child, but a state which we all, at any age, when we enter the world of being born again, have to emerge into as if we were children once more. What is called here young men, but obviously as believers are both male and female as god made us male and female this is talking about spiritual young men spiritual young women and then spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers also as i alluded to before one cannot perceive these without being between two spiritual bookends that is the pre-salvific self and then the post-mortal, the, uh, the believer, you are eternal. But there is a stage until Jesus comes back where those that have been the spiritual fathers leave a legacy or an echo. Because I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe we get to communicate with the physically dead until we see them in heaven, God willing. That their life on earth has an additional stage as it were of the things they leave behind and the effect they have upon us that's number one instead of 32 at least according to my chart um also as i have 282 videos so far upon this channel about midway through this video about the 18th video of this series i will hit 300 videos overall for the channel i'd like to thank my 26 subscribers um that number may increase or decrease um thank you two skies Thank you, uh, Backwater J. Easily the most gifted member of my favorite Christian rock band of all time. Um, I would like to thank my mustache consultant. Um, you know who you are. Thank you. God bless you. If I blessed you or encouraged you, Please like and subscribe.